All right, I'm here with head coach Sean Redmond of the Lincoln men's basketball team. Coach, you're definitely well traveled at this point. You know, seven games, six away from home. Uh, how does that kind of schedule prepare you for the grueling nature of the MIAA? Well, I, you know, Dan, in the beginning of this process of doing a non non conference schedule, I've tried to uh, get the best competition to prepare us, and I've done a home and home with each one of these teams. But in, in, in initial planning, I thought that if we split, maybe, or uh, get on the road and win some games, and as you know, that's not really happening right now. Uh, you know, it, it's, a, it's tough right now for me, and I know it's tough for my guys, is that we've been close enough to have some wins. We are just not turning that corner. Uh, with the situations, we have been right there with five and six minutes to go in the game. It could have went either way, uh, and and that's that. What has have occurred is uh, our shooting. We haven't done pretty good at shooting right now. Uh, we close to twenty nine or thirty percent from the field, and that's just not good. That's not going to win you any games. I don't care even if you're at home. It's not going to win. Right now, our shooting is suspect. Uh, due to the fact uh, we're getting a lot of shots up, we're averaging close to 65 to 70 shots a game. And when you're shooting, if you if you make half of those, you win. And that's where we are right now is not putting the ball in the hole. Uh, uh, even uh, with this well travel situation, uh, we still shot enough shots where if we had put the ball in the hole, we could have some success. Uh, what that Average out too for the MIAA. I was also trying to get these this new team to understand that we got a tough road on the road in this conference. And as I tell them, each game, a non-conference game, this is not going to be what you're going to face in the conference. It's going to be tougher. So I've tried to do both prepare us for this long haul of conference play, uh, and also in the hope of getting some wins on the road where when we get started in the conference where we got a little confidence that we can go on the road and win. That was the sole purpose of having road games uh, is to prepare you for conference because in order to be a contender in the conference, you have to win some games on the road. Well, as you've referenced, you know, it's not anybody who wants to look at our schedule. They'll see, oh, they've dropped their last four games. Mm -hmm. But in three of those, you've had a second-half lead. And against Missouri Southern, you easily could have won it at yes. the very end. So uh, what have you been working on in your team to kind of get them to the point where they're not just leading in the second half, but they can, you know, finish out those games? Right, right now, I, I've been really concentrating on our shooting effort. I think, you know, we do enough to get leads, this, for example, Monday night, we, we was down 32 to 31. We came out in the first five minutes and spurred it and took the lead. We got to a, the 10 minute mark, we're still there in the lead. Uh, it's getting them to understand what shots to take at crucial times, okay? Uh, for example, when we had the lead, probably wasn't the time to keep jacking up threes. Okay, we might need to attack the basket or take mid-range shots. Give us the confidence by knocking down easy shots uh, when you got the lead that, that can build the lead up even higher. That's where we are right now, and I'm concentrating on them understanding when to take the right shot at the right time. And I think that's been our Achilles heel right now. Is not under we, uh, My guys right now think a shot is a shot, not understanding that maybe we don't need a three at this juncture of a game. We might just need a two-pointer, you know. Uh, we, they haven't, they don't understand that, they hear it. But in the game situation, if they open, I say take a shot, and they don't relate that to the right shot. They relate it to just taking a shot. So right now, that's what is situations for us is the, the big difference. Is, uh, and I relate that to is, is my uh, having a leader on the floor that can dictate that. Right now, we're not getting that, especially when my point guard is doing the same thing everybody else doing, firing up long range shots, instead of saying, okay, let's settle down, let's get an easy one. And that's where we are. And I knew going into this season, having eight new players, adjusting for them and getting the feel, and I'm hoping, as any other coach would at this juncture in the season, uh, prior to conference play that we don't play enough games and everybody understand what I want 
and uh, what they have to do in situations because our losses has been situations. It's not been a coaching area or we're not capable. It's been where the players themselves making the right decision at the right time. And as you know, you don't have enough timeouts to every time you have the ball to call a timeout and make sure they do it. Uh, all you can do as a coach is, is call from the sideline and make sure they understand what you want. But they get in there. I'm not going to minimize uh, what these kids have done. I think they're working hard for us. Uh, I do truly believe that once conference start, I think they're going to be fine. I, I, I'm really excited about the fact that we play a lot of tough teams in this conference at home, and we don't have to go to their place. And the best thing, as I said, the first night we won here, we finally got that home monkey off our back where we hadn't won no games. And I think uh, listening to them and watching them, they will be excited to get back home. And I think at home they feel confident. Uh, they feel more confident, which is what you're supposed to. I think they'll be all right. You know, I just play, and I'm just hoping that at the, at the end of this non-conference schedule here, we finally get over the hunt and get some of these wins on the road. And I think once we do that, we'll be fine. Well, this Saturday you have another tough opponent coming yes. up, Missouri-St. Louis. Uh, they've only lost one game, and yes. I think that was in double overtime. So, mm -hmm. you know, they, they like to play their opponents tough. Yes. Uh, what, what, did you, what do you know about this team? Well, right now I know they run a dribble drive offense, and that was my bread and butter up until a year ago when I changed. Uh, I know exactly what we're going to face. Uh, again, I was just talking to my assistant. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to come up with a game plan where I can eliminate the strength of this offense. I know defensively they're going to come at us man to man. They play tough man to man. I know they got they got a three D one transfers. Uh, I know they're pretty solid shooting the ball well, and we just got to minimize the shots that they get. Uh, and do a good job of defending that dribble drive offense. Uh, and as in everybody in the country knows, Kentucky made that famous. You know, uh, John Calipari made it famous at Miss Memphis, and then he carried it over to Kentucky. It's one of the toughest offenses to defend. Uh, but in my case, it's an offense that I use myself, so I understand a little bit more how to defend it. Now, as I said today, we're going to go up in the tape room today and see if we can uh, look at some tape and and I give the guys some ideas of what we need to do to, de to defend this. And I think if we can defend and keep them under a certain amount, I think we have a chance. Again, I haven't we haven't went into any games this year where I don't think we have a, we haven't had chances to have some success. Even with them, the, even at the point of this gesture of being five and one, I still think we have a great chance of going down there to win if we can just get over that hump of playing well in the second half. Uh, you know, and making uh, right decisions, I think we'd be fine. Like I said, right now it's just defense. I think uh, if we can contain them and keep them under 40 at the first half and try to keep them under 40 at the next half, we have a chance. As you know, we gave up 53 points Monday night in the second half. We held them under 40 and gave up 53. And you just can't do that and expect to win. So uh, it's going to be a tough role. Uh, but I do believe going in, I'm waiting on another tape on them to see. Uh, but I think we have a chance. Uh, it's going to be hard on their floor. But if the kids can stay disciplined and stick with the game plan, I think we'll be fine. All right, Coach. Good luck. All right.